you know, being a Walmart greeter must be a super easy job because, you know, you just kind of stand there and, you know, greet people and make them feel nice. But I can't imagine it being too easy because it's got to be boring. Like, I know it's got to be boring. I'm bored with my retail job as it is, and I get to move around and look at merchandise. So I know they've got to be bored. Also, sorry for the bad lighting. I'm in my car. Today, we are filming a day in my life, kind of like a vloggy kind of video. I don't usually do these videos. I have a couple of times, but figured I'd give it a go because I'm trying to upload three times a week and I need more content ideas. Props to me for filming in Walmart because <laughs> it makes me feel really weird when people look at me and people definitely look at you when you're filming and all that good stuff. So I decided to start off breakfast today with some little cuties. I tried to film a cute little aesthetic little clip of them. My dogs decided to rage right into the clip. Then I had to take the dogs out. Big stretch. So I both use the potty on a leash because we don't have a fenced in yard. I usually take about 15 to 20 minutes with them both each if it's not freezing so they can have a chance to play and sniff outside and get some really nice stimulation and all that good stuff. You stuck on the bush? You stuck? I think you stuck. Here, I'll get you one stuck. Peep my nasty mud puddle. Mud puddle, oh. He peeking. <laughs> <laughs> so in this clip you can see me doing some of my schoolwork. I was working on my English 100 schoolwork. I was also reading emails and just doing all that good stuff. I have to write um, an argumentative cause and effect paper and just a bunch of crud. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So then after melting my brain cells with English work, I was on my way to Walmart to go pick up some canned goods and to just look around. And I'm gonna peep of my bear hat that I made that I'm wearing. I'm testing it out because I want to test out the pattern before I actually start selling it and stuff. And I'm still making a few tweaks to this pattern. I like to test my products before I actually sell them on my Etha. Um, I felt like really crappy this morning. I was having a lot of contractions. I've been having Braxton Hicks contractions here lately. Because you know, peep baby Alexander. But I did my makeup. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself feel better about actually doing my makeup and like trying to get up and do things instead of just laying around because I heard that it makes it worse if you lay around. But I literally feel like such crap and that these, oh my god, they were not kidding when they say that these, that these contractions hurt. These are so pretty. I have the blue ones, but I don't think I have the flower ones. Those are really pretty. I need to get a new scissor set. It seems like, oh, these are really cute too. It seems like no matter how many scissors I have, I can never have enough. I actually think I like these more. These are really pretty. I can never find scissors when I need them. I didn't even know they had these. These are actually really cute. I really like um, Oscar and the Cookie Monster. It's supposed to like make a hat. It's really soft, but it's branded by Lion Brands. So I wonder it's soft. I wonder how the, oh, it's attached by like a little elastic so you can make it like a pom-pom. That's really cute, but I bet it only makes a kid's hat. Also check out these little Thanksgiving outfits. Now these were in well, what they call the boy section. Um, I really wish they had some more cuter things that are more geared towards boy style clothing. These are super freaking cute. They're like the soft knitted thing. I'm definitely probably gonna get Alexander either the gray or the blue one. Got a pretty hefty price tag. So, or like next year, buy it in 12 months and just save it for later on. And give it to him as like, I don't know, a present in his Easter basket or something. Now, to go pay for this stuff. So I just came out of Walmart. I've got a headache like crazy. I, I need to go to the ceramic studio because I told my friend I would go with her there today so she didn't have to be alone while she did pottery. I need to glaze some bowls and stuff anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna be going there for a couple of hours. Um, I'm supposed to meet her at five and it's like four or something. I'm debating on whether or not to go back home. Let the doggies out for about an hour or half an hour to let them play. I keep them crated when I'm gone because Casper is ridiculously destructive and I do not trust him to be safe when he's home alone. Even if I exercise, I'm taking him on a walk, he regains his energy quick and he gets very destructive when he does and he gets separation anxiety and he will destroy the house and it's a rental and I can't risk him chewing up floorboards or something like that or baseboards so yeah that's why I keep them created when I'm gone I always give them a frozen Kong before I leave though or something like that so they can have something to play with all the cans of corn and everything you saw me buy was because I got a parking ticket and they give me the option to either pay $40 or donate 20 things it goes to a good cause so I bought cans of corn and I think it's green beans let's go ahead and see what, what time is it even okay it's already 424 so I might as well just sit around and wait to go to the ceramic studio I'm only gonna try and stay there for about an hour or two I'm supposed to have dinner with her too I think um I'm only gonna try and stay for about two hours I woke up kind of late today so I didn't wake up till 11 I usually get up at 8 in the morning early in the mornings only when I can get stuff done really because I got school it's really complicated so I'm not gonna get too far into it but yes let's go ahead and head on over to the ceramic studio and make myself cozy and at home 
So then I went to have dinner with my friend. We ended up grabbing steak and shake shakes and then witch witch sandwiches, if you've ever heard of that place. It's really good uh, before heading off to the ceramic studio. What we've been working on in class is actually throwing bowls, textured bowls to make into cups and teacups. And I decided to throw a little extra stuff today on the pottery wheel as well. It's actually a lot harder than you think it is, but I've been practicing, so I think they came out pretty cute. So I just got done throwing out a bunch of pots and I also made this a little while ago. It's on the bed and it's not really smooth, but it's a cookie jar. Cool beans. I said that I lace it. Here's the lid to it. It's really, really cool. I wasn't expecting that many other people to be in the studio today and I kind of don't want to bother them by like recording and things because I feel like I'll make them self-conscious. But here's the balls I made all done. They just got to be fired and then I'll glaze them. So incidentally, instead of spending just two to three hours at the ceramic studio like I thought I would, I ended up spending like four or five. It was, or probably just about four. It was quite a trip. But now I'm going to be heading home to make dinner for myself and the dogs because I'm hungry after about four hours of the pottery wheel. I'm a little peckish. So after I got done eating and things, I just sat down and did some crochet. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was working on my bear hat pattern to recreate so I can make more for my Etsy shop, which is linked down below by the way. For dinner tonight, I just made some fried potatoes to just snack on because my husband wouldn't be home till later and I knew I was gonna have to make a di like a dish later anyway. So I decided to just have these for now. Okay guys, so I just got done redesigning my new logo. I wanted something really simplistic and cute to put on cards, like business cards, because I did have one before, but I didn't really like it and I wanted something a little bit more, eh, sorry, you can hear him cry, paying attention. It's my little strawberry shark. It was Cuties by Jade. And I think it's actually really cute. I'll probably be changing my TikTok and my Instagram and my business cards logos to this. And I don't want to throw away my old business cards, so I probably will be going ahead and using those rather than just throwing them away because I feel like that's wasteful. So so if you see business cards with the different logos and your orders or something, it is because that I have changed my logo. But I just don't want to just throw away, you know, nice business cards. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for my life uh, in a day. Uh, my days vary from day to day, so you know, they're never really all quite the same, but the ceramic studio, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's where I spend most of my time and on my laptop doing schoolwork. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I need to go and feed the dogs at dinner. Um, <laughs> you can hear them grouch and they're over here playing. Ooh. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to check out my description box below. There's a link to my store and there's also links to my social media if you wanna go follow me on there. I post a TikTok and Instagram like four times a day. So yeah, all that good stuff. I'm even working on making a Facebook page if you guys wanna check that out. And I also upload every Friday and Saturday. So this won't be the last you guys hear of me, hopefully. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.